Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create these pumpkin shape crepe paper embellishments. Aren't they adorable? Just give you a couple close-ups. And this one I used um, that wood veneer from Dollar Tree. Guys, I have a video on my channel that I'm going to link in the description box below showing you guys different techniques on how to decorate these or dress them up. All right, so let's get started, guys. First thing you're going to need is some crepe paper. I get my crepe paper from the Dollar Tree. And you can use any color, guys. I'm doing pastel Halloween right now so i'm gonna use a pastel color but you can easily use black orange gold whatever fancies you so we're just gonna make a rosette and the way that i make my rosettes is that i'm gonna be folding all the way around rotating pinching in the middle basically so let me show you I'm gonna make a fold every time i make a fold i'm gonna direct it to the middle like so you guys can see like I'm putting it at an angle and as I'm moving I'm kind of moving this paper so you want to form a circle shape by turning so as I'm putting here I'm turning here I hope that this makes sense guys but I'm gonna do a couple and you're just gonna go around make sure that it's very important I have a finger right here that doesn't really move and I'm just making sure that each one of these bottom folds hits that middle. I hope this makes sense, guys. And I'm just going to go all the way around like that. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to snip. Sometimes it might come loose. I would try to maneuver it so that you get the full, the fullest rosette that you can get. And then we're gonna hold that in place. Use our stapler and staple in the middle. All right, and I like to use two staples and there's your rosette. Let's do it again. So you're just gonna pull out some of your crepe paper and I'm gonna keep this finger back below and I'm gonna use this one to pinch. All right, so you're basically doing this and we're just gonna fold and turn, fold and turn, making sure that each one of these bottom points is going under my thumb. Fold and turn, fold and turn. And we're gonna go all the way around until we form our circle. And I let this last one overlap a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna snip that. Try to fan it out as much as we can. But it's very important to keep that middle part together. And I'm gonna staple under where I have my thumb, like so. All right, so these are our rosettes and now we have to make the pumpkin shape. So how I did that is I used this die from Michaels and I use the same um, concept when I use, when I made those memory decks, those mini memory decks cards you guys seen in my last video. So now we're going to use our die cutting machine. We're going to take out our die. I just want to make sure it's the right size. Yeah. So this is the second to biggest. There's four in this piece. There's um, one that has like this embossing. 
there's a smaller one. We're going to use the next size up from that. Okay, so this one here. And all we're going to do is die cut these rosettes. Now, I put two staples, so it, it does become a little bit hard to run it. So you might have to do one at a time, but I'm going to try to do two. Let's see if it goes. So basically, you just lay your rosette on top, lay your die on top of your rosette. And we're going to go ahead and run that through our die machine and cut it. Guys, um, this mini evolution die cutting machine, I had did an unboxing and a review on my channel. I will try to link that in the description box below as well. And we're just going to go ahead and run that through our die cutting machine. I'm trying not to hit my base. Okay, so this is running through nicely, even with the staples. And I'm going to go backwards just to be sure to get that nice cut. All right. And when you take it out, we have... So you can even... I could have probably did three at once. This is what we're left with. And guys, if you want to make these more sturdier... You can layer two pumpkins and within one. I just use one because I'm going to back these with some paper probably. But these are our pumpkin die cuts. Aren't they adorable? All right. And then now all we're going to do is embellish this. So to embellish this, I use this Wicked Web die that I hauled from Tuesday morning by Tonic. We're going to go ahead and die cut this web with some black paper. I'm going to have to use this. I use just solid black glitter cardstock on this one. But I can't find any more right now. So we're going to go ahead and use this instead. So we're going to place or die down on our paper and we're going to run that through the die machine and I'm back just to be sure Here is our die cut. Okay, let's move this out the way. We just want to get out all these little pieces and they come out fairly easy with this paper. It's a little more thinner than the other cardstock that I use. All right, so this is what we're left with. Isn't that cute? All right. All right, guys, to embellish this is very simple. I just was kind of, I wasn't sure how I want to embellish these. And I just kind of knew that I wanted to use the spider web. And I saw one of my older embellishments from last year. It got kind of ruined. The ink kind of spread on it. But I had placed it on here, and I love the way that that looked. So I decided to go ahead and make some pastel Halloween ones using that Pinkaboo collection from Michaels. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to leave a tutorial to how I created this embellishment, but it's the same exact process, guys. And instead of adding the googly eye, I just added a pink gemstone. So I'll be sure to link that tutorial in the description box below. And I really liked it the way that this looked. But of course, you know, got to be extra. So I added some more things. Let's go ahead and make these. So first, I'm going to take my hot glue. Excuse my glue gun. It's been through hell and back. 
and we're gonna go ahead and place the die there and I want it to be like poking out on the sides then I'm gonna take some tool I have some pink tool here and you don't need much guys like this is even too much but all I'm gonna do is fold it over like so to get a little tip like that and I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue here and kind of do this so it can stick together be very careful because tool is very thin and the hot glue will seep through so I just put a little bit let it dry just a little and then I kind of use my fingers and do that all right so we're left with this it just adds some extra texture to the project okay so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down right on top of that glue there's still some hot glue there okay I'm gonna take one of my ribbons and I went ahead and put a dimensional tape on the back I'm gonna go ahead and add some more hot glue to the back and I'm gonna adhere that here more towards the corner like so so you can really stop right there it will look cute if you add like a little word sticker or something isn't that adorable I love that so then I took I wanted to add some mint because in the collection there is some mint and these foam flowers, they're kind of stubborn. So since they're foam, they kind of like melt and move when they're hot. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. So what I'm going to do is put some glue. I'm going to stick it down. And then as it's drying, I'm going to kind of mold these flowers down like so. So that they can be more opened up and not so, you know, tight like that. So let's do that. Got a nice glob of glue. I'm gonna stick it down in the corner and I'm gonna fan these leaves out. I'm pressing down, use a little force and they'll pop back up, but you just wanna give it a little time to dry a little bit. And there we go, see? And then I want to add a spider here. So the spiders that I added on these are these spiders that I just hauled from Target. Which are these. They're just rings. This is how they look. And I'm just going to go ahead and clip. I like that they're already pink. I don't got to paint them. I don't got to worry or fuss with any of that. And um, you can glue it any way you like. I think I'm going to go with. Actually, I'm going to go with the blue one for this one. But guys, I just want you to use this process. Be creative and use what you have at home. What's in your stash. You know, just play with the colors, play with the different combinations and see what looks good to you. I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue to the spider. And I'm going to place it where I think it will look good. I think I like that spot there. And there we go. Then you want to get some tweezers or something. And pull out all of your strings, your glue strings. But isn't that cute, guys? So adorable. You can use these for so many things. You can um, make a huge rosette and back it. You can use these as embellishments. Um, you can add these to bag toppers. You can do so much with these. Look at how adorable. Let's go ahead and do one more. So we have our base. We have our die cut. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue. Nice little glob, nice big glob. Add my die cut here. 
careful you don't burn yourself. Let's grab our tool. Again, I'm just cutting a little bit of tool and I'm bunching it up. And actually, I'm going to place this down while it's hot. And we'll have this one going to this side. So press it down on there. It gives it just a really nice texture. You see? Really cute. And then we'll go ahead and add some dimensional tape here. To give us some height. I'm gonna add some more hot glue there. Just to be sure it doesn't go anywhere. And again, I'm gonna add this going on this side, like so. So again, you can stop like this and this is really cute. But I want to utilize my little wood veneers from Dollar Tree that we embossed and, you know, hooked up. Again, I'm going to leave a tutorial in the description box below for these. But I want to add one of these ghosties. Let's add this one. So I'm going to actually put some foam tape on this one. And um, I just cut one in half. And add that there, being sure that it doesn't show up in the front. And I'm going to secure it with some more glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick that there. And there we have it. All right. And that's it guys that's it for this tutorial i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you find it useful i hope it inspires you to make your own how adorable are these so guys if you enjoy this video make sure that you give me a thumbs up let me know what you guys think and i will catch you guys in my next video i hope to i plan to have a lot of tutorials for you guys hopefully a lot of halloween videos you know that october is right around the corner guys i'm excited so i'll talk to you guys later i love you guys so much and i'll catch you next time i'll be sure to link all those videos in the description box below bye guys love you bye